Morning all. Now, today's challenge is to fly my Hubsan X4 quadcopter with this attached to it with rubber bands. And this is one of these uh, key fob camera recorders um, so that I should be able to take aerial footage. Now, I expect the uh, quad will behave quite sluggishly because of the extra weight of this um, camera. But uh, I did do a five second test just now and it did get off the ground so it looks like it's going to work. Now I think the camera has finished charging because that yellow light is now on solidly. Now this uh, key fob camera was uh, a bit of a bargain really. I bought it from uh, a UK seller and it was just uh, £4.50. This came from, uh, who is it? JT Online Store 2014. Uh, took a little bit of a risk, of course, buying it that cheap, but uh, it seems to have paid off. So to shoot a movie, you turn the thing on and the yellow light comes on. It does a brief flicker. And now if I hold down the video button, you get that three um, flashes. And now, by all accounts, it's recording. So hello 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 see if we can uh, look at that image now to stop it you press that briefly yellow light comes back on when the yellow lights on it's sort of in standby and then I can turn it off by pressing and holding the on off switch the bigger one so if I now plug this into my PC so that's picked it up so we're looking at removable disk uh, D sim now tag text is I'll open that actually that's where you can put um, the date in you, know, you have to do it in a certain format and uh, that sets the clock on the camera so let's not bother with that just for the moment D sim uh, 100 media is videos and it will be the last one let's see what we get three um, flashes. And now, by all accounts, it's recording. So, hello, hello, hello. Let's see if we can uh, look at that image. Now, to stop it. Good. So that's uh, worked. Sound quality didn't seem terribly impressive, but um, the image quality should improve when I get this thing outside in the light. I hope. Now, if you want to know more about these uh, key fob cameras, there's an excellent online resource which is www.chucklaw.com and uh, this tells you everything you could conceivably ever want to know about these fob cameras. Um, one of the things it does is lets you identify which type of camera you've got by the date code overlay and from that and the fact that mine is, where is it, a 720 by 480, um, I worked out that this is actually a number three. Now I've also ordered a number 16 which is 1280 by 720 and should give me H264 encoded video. So that's this one. Now this will be a while coming because it's coming from Hong Kong or China I think. Yeah, uh, it was only 759 but the title is uh, 808 Car Keychain Micro Camera Number 16 Real HD 720p H264. Now this numbering system, number 16, was actually invented by Chuck Law. But the sellers of these cameras are now using that system to indicate which type you're going to get. So let's hope this one's genuine. That's a pretty good price. And uh, it does help, of course, when the seller gives you pictures of the internals. Um, so one of the things you can identify the number 16 by is here, this is the battery connector. The older models, and indeed the model I've got, doesn't have a connector, the battery soldered directly to the PCB. So I'm hoping this will be uh, the genuine article. So I've refitted the uh, 808 camera to the hub sand with rubber bands. Now I've put, had it rear facing this time because I've just realised that I can only fly the hub sand pointing away from me. I haven't learned how to fly it pointing towards me yet. So just waiting now for that red light on the Hubsan's charger lead to go out and then I can take this outside and give it a trial flight. 
Now I can't fly this thing and uh, use my Nexus camera at the same time so I'm going to be uh, relying on the onboard camera to shoot the video of this flight. Um, so let's connect the Hubsan up and well actually I'll start the camera first so that's uh, sun's come out now long press on there long press on there three flashes the camera's running now let's connect up the uh, hub sans connector okay and i'll just have a quick blip of the throttle to make sure we're good to go okay i will now fly it well that was interesting uh, it was a very um hard to control with all that weight hanging from it but uh, let's take it inside and see what the footage is like right well we got some footage but of course it's all upside down because I forgot that the camera was hanging upside down under the quad now fortunately YouTube has rotation controls and stabilized video so I'm getting something useful. Interesting artifact of the stabilized video thing though, that the date code is leaping about all over the screen. Interesting. Well, let's have a look at the final footage. The camera's running. Now let's connect up the uh, hub stand connector. Okay, and I'll just have a quick blip of the throttle to make sure we're good to go. Well, there we are then. There's the rather jerky uh, video of the Hubsan X4 with the 808 key fob camera slung underneath um, with full uh, rotation and stabilization. Didn't seem to help a huge amount, but I guess it works just about.